Sir, my name is Alexander Osei from Ghana. We are going to continue with national income determination. Our previous lesson, we ended with the introduction to national income determination. Now, basically, today we are going to start with the two sector economy as we ended in our previous lesson. Now, two sector economy, we are saying that the economy is closed. We are, we are going to focus on the closed economy, right? And then the closed economy, we are saying that outputs or production or income is either consumed or invested. How it makes sense? If you have an income, it's either I consume it or I invest it. How it makes sense? Nice one, like physical investment. Or if a firm produces commodities, right? It's either the firm consumes it or they, uh, they sell it for their yeah, customers. Or the part of it that they couldn't sell, the, the firm buys it. How it makes sense? And the economy is if the firm accumulates inventory, we are saying that the firm is buying the inventory. How it makes sense? So this one becomes unwanted inventory. So if the firm buys it, it becomes an investment onto the firm itself. So we are saying that output is either consumed or invested, or income is either consumed or invested. Then we come to income or output is either consumed or saved. I hope it makes sense. That's when you understand, right? Good. So it's either you consumed or you saved. I hope it makes sense. It's either they consume it or they sell it to their buyers, right? Or their customers, and they get money. The money they get, they invest it. I hope it makes sense. So we are saying that these are the two model that we can deduct from the two sector economy. Now from here, we could see that y is equal to this. So if we want to make c the subject, we get c equal to y minus i. Can you see that? c equal to y minus i. That's how it is. Now over here, if we want to make c the subject, we get c, we get c equal to you get c equal to y minus s. How it makes sense? Nice one. So these are the two things that you're going to get. How it makes sense? Nice one. So if you're going to get these two things, here c is equal to this, here c is equal to this. So if we bring the two of them together, look at this, c is equal to this, c is equal to this. So it means that y minus income minus investment is equal to income minus savings. Is equal to income minus savings. So having understood this, we have Y here, we have Y here, grouping of like terms. Grouping of like terms. Grouping of what? Like terms. Hope you understand it. Nice one. So grouping of like terms get income minus income. Hope you are getting it. Equal to minus X plus I. So this one, this one will be zero. Equal to minus X plus I. So when I bring this one here, I'm going to get x equal to i. So under two sector economy, we are saying that under two sector economy, we are saying that savings is equal to investment. This is what is called injection leakage approach. Injection leakage approach. So this is the two sector economy. In our next lesson, we are going to focus on the consumption function. So as a stance, we have understood that savings is equal to investment and the two sector economy. This is lesson two. Watch out for lesson three. Thank you. Bye-bye.